Alabama has become the 37th state in the U.S. to legalize same-sex marriage. That happened after a federal judge ruled that Alabama's same-sex marriage ban is unconstitutional. However, there's a lot of confusion in the state because there is a chief justice by the name of Roy Moore who basically said that judges in the state of Alabama should not issue any marriage licenses to same-sex couples. So that, of course, left judges wondering who they should listen to, the federal judge or the chief justice in their own state. Now, they're split. Some of them have decided to listen to the federal judge. Some have listened to uh, Chief Justice Roy Moore. And the Associated Press actually had an interview with Roy Moore to kind of talk about this in greater detail. And here's what he had to say about same-sex marriage. You're taking any definition of a family away. And if that comment didn't sound stupid enough for you, uh, here's where he sounds like a complete idiot. He says, when two bisexuals or two transgendered marry, how large is that family? Can they marry two persons, one of the same sex and one of the opposite sex? Then you've got a family of four or how many? So it's the same fear-mongering that you hear uh, when it comes to same-sex marriage, right? Oh, is this going to lead to people marrying animals? Is this going to lead to polygamy? And by the way, I, I don't even think polygamy is that big of a deal. But yeah, it's just a lot of fear-mongering. But polygamy is a t different issue than <laughs> gay marriage. So all you're saying is, oh, this would allow people to marry a lot of folks. No, no it wouldn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> That's not what this addresses. Second of all, his misunderstanding about bisexuals and transgender people is both horrifying and amusing at the same time. So. Uh, just because they're bisexual doesn't mean they must marry a guy and a girl. <laughs> That's not really how it works. Okay, <laughs> if they decided that they love someone, they're going to marry a person. It's one person. Yeah, and that doesn't mean they're not attracted to both sexes. They can be. That's we find that perfectly normal. Yeah, but they marry one person, right? It's he, hard he sounds a little jealous. He's like, ah, those bisexual guys. Well, you know, they the get to marry two people. Like whether they're Mormons, <laughs> Muslims, etc. Yeah. They love the multiple wives that yeah. they're in favor of. And by yeah. the way, you know where you have multiple wives? In the Bible. Yeah. Some characters in the Bible have hundreds of wives. So when they say, oh, this has always been the same way. It's a Judeo-Christian heritage in the Bible. It's a marriage is between one man and one woman. That's not true. This is the same schmuck that got into trouble and got kicked out of being Chief Justice earlier in his career mm -hmm. because he refused to take down the Ten Commandments when the higher court said, what, it's unconstitutional to put the Ten Commandments of your particular religion in a public setting. That's exactly right? what he did, yeah. But the funny thing is, he puts the Ten Commandments up and he nearly ruined his career over it, but he hasn't even read the Bible. In the Bible, there are marriages of all sorts of, and sexual relationships of all sorts of things. I mean, there's a, in the beginning of the Bible, uh, Abraham is having trouble having uh, conceiving with his wife, so his wife's like, "Hey, why don't you fuck my sister?" Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. Go read it. Okay? They don't say fuck. They say, you know, sleep with her, whatever they say. Get to know her, right? Get to okay. know her, <laughs> right? No, no. He knew her like da da da, right? Uh -huh. And then, then he fucks his uh, handmaid. Okay. The so, Bible sounds wrong. I know the <laughs> Bible's the original Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So then I believe he might have even fucked the sister's maid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one man and one woman, how? Even Abraham, who started this whole thing, was fucking everybody. Okay, you want to talk about polygamy? So that's the reality. And then finally, his, he, this idiot thinks that if you're transgendered, that means like that you're, you're undecided. So that you want, you, you're both a man and a woman, so you would want a wife and a husband. But, but that's look. How do you deal with ignorance on this level? Okay, so two things that make me feel that he shouldn't be allowed to do what he does for a living, right? So number one, he's not smart enough to be a judge. Like I feel like you have to, you have to have a certain level of intelligence to be a chief justice of a state. Okay, so I don't know if I was president of the world, I'd be like, you, you're not smart enough. Out. Okay, but but also, I mean, <laughs> I like that you you're done. <laughs> Why at, uh, you're an idiot? God, look at, look at his come hither stare in that picture. It <laughs> yeah. cracks me up. Second thing is, is it okay to be an activist judge? Oh, interesting. Is right? it or is it not okay to be an activist judge? Sorry, Roy Moore, got you. <laughs> <laughs> and then Roy Moore's going, what? what? <laughs> I don't understand what she said. I'm gonna get a transgender airline at home and in a while. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's the Chief Justice of Alabama. God help you in Alabama.